Hello, everyone. I'm I'm here in my my little sewing layer because Angela was mean to me, and and she's making me do this live because me and Heather basically bullied her into doing the other ones. But I'm just waiting for people to come on, letting people know that I'm here. Who's all here so far? I see there's two people watching. Why don't you say hi to me over here on the left, on the right here. And we'll talk about stuff for the class. I'll give you a couple minutes. Oh, one of my dogs is sneaking down here. But I apologize, my sewing area is a nightmare. But, um, hi Tammy. How are you doing? Are you going to watch the Packer game? Oh, we have a man here, Mr. Beckham. Hello, Everett. Everett, what's it like having a woman, that uh, wife that likes to uh, quilt? <clears throat> Not great, I'm sure. But um, yeah, I'm going to talk about like bringing stuff to class because, you know, sometimes I think people get worried about what they should bring to class. They're scared to bring something. They're scared to forget something because, you know, we're all human. But uh, you know how that rolls. But, uh, oh, tell me all about your sewing table. Is it like one of those fancy ones? Fun sometimes. Uh, thanks, Everett. But um, it'd probably be more fun for Everett if uh, I'd actually sew him something finally. <laughs> Who are you rooting for, Tammy? So I'm just going to hang for a couple minutes and wait and see if anyone else joins us. And the best part, people can come and watch it later. But um, it's so easy just to overthink it and all that jazz. Whoa, did you guys have a busy weekend? Mine was entirely too busy. Feels like I woke up. And it was like 1 p.m. today, and I'm angry and bitter. Okay, so. Ooh, there's six people watching. Oh, Angela's here. Angela's enjoying this too, I'm sure, because. Like I said, me and Heather bullied her into starting to do the lives, so I got what's coming to me. Tammy, are you taking the class on Thursday? <laughs> Green Bay, of course. Well, duh. I'm not a huge football fan, but... Uh, I just hope it's a good game. I like the last four teams, which I could not name if you asked me to. Look like it's good, and I'm glad the Patriots aren't playing. So that's a bonus. Ooh, there's 10 people now. <gasps> Who's watching? Tammy, Angela, and Everett. See. I'm not watching from another device, possibly. That would never happen. You? Cool. 
All right. Well, there's nine people here, so I guess I'll kind of start. Um, first, we'll talk about uh, things I'd bring to a sewing class. You know, like I go to Angela's a lot, and I have a little stash there maybe. But um, some stuff to have, you know, like at her place, she has most everything. Probably the only thing you need to be that you might feel – different about is like everyone likes to use different scissors so you know bring your own scissors your own thread but she's going to show you thread there that will blow your mind but um i'm talking specifically just for a class so we're going to all go to hobby lobby on thursday for this sakatumi class quilt class and she's going to start show you how to make the first block and how to connect them you know we won't finish the the quilt in two hours but It'll be a good start, you know, and if you get stuck, that's that's Angela's jam. She does a quilt designing. You know, she's got a quilt studio. You know, you go to her place and you can use her design wall and you can set up your quilt, you know, how you want to sew it together and you're golden, you know, and she's got it for you. She's got the knowledge. She's got everything. So, all righty. So I'm going to go over like a list of stuff that I would bring if I was going to a class. And um, for the most part, like it'll fit in a medium flat rate priority mailbox. You know, those boxes that you get at the post office, almost everything but your ruler and your mat will fit in there. So it's not a big deal. You know, you got your, obviously your sewing machine's not going to fit in that little box, but your sewing machine in your mat, in your ruler, and you'll carry the little box, and you'll be good to go. So, all right. So here we go. Oh, you took down your tree? Ugh, I don't have, I don't do the tree thing, but. All right, so I bring scissors. You know, I would bring a small pair and a big pair just because that's what I do. I, I like to have a big scissors for some stuff and little scissors for other stuff. And you know, if I'm bringing my scissors somewhere, I tend to buy just a cheap pair. So if I lose them, I don't care. But you know, keep in mind, you can always take a, a permanent marker and write your name on the scissors in case you're worried about losing them or whatnot. That's totally doable. Uh, bring your needles, bring extra needles for your machine and extra needles for uh, pinning your quilt project together. You know, some people like to use those little those little clips, some people like to use pins, some people just go crazy and just don't use anything. But you know, you just, you need to bring what you use when you're quilting. And if you don't know, just bring some needles. And that's the best part about taking a class because you can spy around, you can look and see how other people do stuff. And that's probably more of a lesson than anything going to a quilt class, you know, because I've been sewing for years, but me, when I went to Angela's, I was like, oh, that's a different way to do this. Oh, that's another way to do that. You know, that's a nice thing about taking a class because you can see how everyone does it their way. So you can you can try it their way. They can try your way, you know, whatever works. Um, and uh, if you bring needles, you know, don't be cheap with needles. Sewing machine needles, you know. Always use a new needle with every new project. And like some people really want to make that needle last for 10 years, just put a new needle in. Like if you put a new needle in and have your machine threaded correctly, 95% of the time you're going to have a wonderful time. So keep that in mind. Um, bring your machine, derp. Bring your pedal because I would never forget to bring my pedal. That's a lie. I forgot my pedal plenty of times. So put your pedal in the box. Make that like the first thing you put in your box of stuff because you're going to be like, I'm ready to go. You're going to get the Hobby Lobby and be like, I forgot my pedal. So, all right. So remember that. Um, you'll need to bring an iron. And you know, Some people have a little itty bitty iron they like to use. Some people have their big iron. Whatever iron you want to use. It doesn't matter. So with the iron, you'll need an ironing board or... There'll be tables there, and I have this little, it's a ironing mat, so I can iron on this, good to go. And uh, so I don't need to bring a board, but 
you know, and this didn't cost me much. I got this at a, somewhere where you can buy sewing stuff. Or you can bring, you can make a wool mat, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, bring a spray bottle or your best press or starch, whatever floats your boat. That's the beauty of it. You're bringing it, you're using it. There you go. Another time you can look and be like, hey, I've heard about best press. You can see someone use it and be like, whoo, best thing ever, or be like, whatever. I like water, whatever. Do what you want. Um, and for the class that we're going to be take, doing, the Sakatumi, uh, you'll need 18 fat quarters. So you'll get those all picked out. And um, on the website, on the Facebook page, I uh, got some pictures together for Angela of, like, all the different colors that different people did it. So it doesn't have to be, like, wild crazy. It can be soft and muted. Some people did, like, flannel. It's a really forgiving pattern. So, um and you know what I'm going to, my evil plan is I'm going to have them all picked out and I'm going to have them ironed out, flat, ready to go. Put them in my box, ready to go. So I don't have to unfold them. Da, 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 da. And if you don't have time, iron them out when you get there. It, I'm just doing it because I'm rubbing two brain cells together and feeling like I'm planning. Um, you'll need a like a 12 by 12 ruler or something like this to do your cutting and need a rotary cutter, preferably a sharp one. Um, let's see, you'll need thread or get this at Angela's. It's a Orofil. It's a lovely thread. And then on that note, I would bring a couple bobbins or I would bring a, I would buy some uh, what's it called? bottom line bobbin thread. And I'm not trying to be like HG sales lady, but uh, it's a really good bobbin thread and it lasts forever. Like if you fill your bobbin, I swear to God, you can, you can almost sew three quarters of your quilt just with that. Not kidding. Not kidding. And there's like no lint and it's last forever. It's wonderful. It's worth it. Um, let's see what else I have on my evil list. Oh, uh, bring a quarter inch foot. Like that makes your life super swell. She was talking about these the other day. She did a post on quarter inch feet and it just keeps your, dude, keeps your seam allowance going really well. So it's, it's such a nice investment because if all your seams are the same size, it's all going to come together. Ziggity, ziggity, zoo. So by all means do that. Me, cause uh, I get all crazy and excited and I get sewn and then I have to rip it out. I got my seam ripper. And cause I'm a slob, I use this because I'm too lazy to pick it out. I just roll this all over it because that's how I roll. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Anyone else think of anything? Do, 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 do. Oh, a bunch of my motorcycle friends are on here. But, um, oh, you'll need a mat to do your cutting. But better yet, if you bring a friend, you could share a mat and you could share a rotary cutter and then you'd have a buddy with. Um, but, uh, and you know, you're going to think I'm crazy, but I really, I've shown a lot of people how to sew and it's so easy to forget how to thread your machine, especially when you're excited, you're at class. And if there's a time your machine's going to be naughty, <laughs> it's when people are watching. So it never hurts to have your manual or just make a photocopy of your threading diagram so you can just double check because you're excited, you're having fun. You know, and it's easy to miss a one little step and then your machine to be so naughty. But if you just bring that, there won't be a problem at all. So, all right. And Angela asked me to talk about class. The Sakatumi class is going to be 
January 23rd on Thursday, 5.30 at Hobby Lobby in Rice Lake. And uh, to sign up, message Angela's Quilting Studio on Facebook or call her at 715-790-2282. Um, there's six spots left. Once you call and get signed up, she can email you the, the class list. She can email you the coupon. And everyone that takes a class gets a, a coupon for 20% off fabric or 10% off lo uh, long arming for your quilt when it's all done. So you get this nice little quilting details. And it's worth every penny. But, um, and you don't know what to do, just run out there real quick and pick out some fat quarters. She's a quilt studio. She's got fabric. You know, if you're like, I don't know what to pick, she'll help you. You know, like, this is a, a sampler quilt that class that I took with her. And she's like, pick out eight, and then let me pick out number nine. And I'm like, well, all right. So I picked out all these, but this one. And uh, I was like, you're nuts. But look at it. It's pretty slick, all the different stuff on there. It really adds a lot of fun. And that's the beauty of ha going to a, 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 a quilting studio because she can be like, this is wonderful. And she can be with there with you, cut it, sew it. And then you can see it and you're like, oh, versus like being at a quilt shop where they're like, dut, 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 dut. toodaloo. No, you can stay at Angela's. You can sew. It's fun. And you know, it might seem like it's a little way out. Well, do you go to Sam's Club? It's an hour away. You know, Dallas is like 20 minutes from Rice Lake tops. And it's like going to the movies. Like it's, it's, it's a no brainer. You just, you go there, you pet the dachshund, you hold the dog while you're sewing, you know, it's, it's really nice. So enough about that. Um, and keep in mind, if you can't make the class and you're like, Oh, I really want to do this class. Call her, contact her. She, you know, she will, uh, you can do it with her another time, you know, like, well, you can't do it this Saturday? Well, maybe a couple weeks away, you know, you got a lot going on. That Angela wants to teach you how to sew. She wants you to sew quilts. She wants you to come and have fun. So keep that in mind. Um, then next Saturday, January 25th, is local quilt shop day. So go support, support your local quilt shop, Angela's Quilting Studio. And... If you go, you can go check it out. Just If you want to see what it's like, bring a friend. Come out. So, you know, you can see her long arm. You can see her fabric. And she's got a million patterns. And uh, just see what the vibe's like. You know, it's... I'm trying to think of a way to explain it. You know, like, we all like a restaurant. And we all go to different restaurants. But, you know, you tend to gravitate to one. But you won't find that one unless you go to a couple restaurants. So you know what? That's what local quilt shops quilt shop day is about. So come in and see Angela and she can talk your ear off about all things quilting. Um and then last week for the live, Angela had you guys pick out what you wanted to do for Valentine's Day for that little project. And that you guys picked the Valentine Twister. And uh, that class is gonna be wow. I forgot to write it down. Please hold. Sorry. I just don't want to mess up the date. February 6th at 5.30 at Hobby Lobby, we're going to do that Valentine Twister class. And uh, same thing. Sign up, pay for your class, and then you'll get your your class list, your supply list, and your coupon for 20% off fabric or 10% off long arming. And you come in and you can pick out your fabrics, good to go. And um, it's really important to reserve your spot just because there's only room for seven. And uh, it's not to be pressuring, but you know, you want to take it. But if you can't take it that time, same thing. Call Angela, be like, oh, really want to do this twister class and go to our place a different time <coughs> excuse me so I guess part of this is just letting you know that it's a quilting class and if you forget something 
you know, it's like this. Odds are we're all going to forget something, but we're all there together at the class. So if you forget something, just don't stress because we can share stuff. We can be nice. You know, if you want to take a minute to write down your name on stuff, put your name on a piece of tape and put it on your, your rulers, there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, does anyone else have any other questions? about taking a class, a, a quilting class, or what to expect. You know, there's some other things you can do. You know, if you sign up for the class before time, you know, you might get a, a copy of your, your pattern. It depends, you know, how it goes. Like, if you go in there to pick it up, da da da, da. And um, you can look at it, and you can make some decisions, like, for example... I'm not stressed about cutting stuff, so if I choose to uh, not be too lazy, like I'm going to iron my fat quarters, don't get me wrong, but I could cut my pieces all apart. You know, that way I'm not in the way or distracting Angela from other people because, like, I can just cut my stuff. Eh, you need help? Angela's there. And, you know, in class, everyone's nice. Everyone wants to help each other. So, you know... It's a nice experience. I think if everyone did one quilt class, they'd really enjoy it. And the Sakatumi class, um, I don't have the sample, obviously, because we're in my sewing layer. But um, it's, it's a really easy one. So, like, if your kid's in 4-H and they want to learn how to sew, like, it's straight line sewing. Like, they'll learn to sew a straight line, cut a straight line, iron a straight line, and they'll have a quilt. You know, and they can enter it in the fair, you know, all sorts of stuff. You know, or if you, we have, Angela has a Quilt of Valor. She's uh, one of their stores. And then there's uh, Patriotic Stitchers, which is the group, the sewing group out of there. So if you want to learn how, that's, that's what Angela's about. You want to learn how to sew, you want to learn how to quilt. That's Angela's place. And, you know, the different patterns she has, you can do something little. You can do something big. You know, that's the beauty of a fabric. You can do as much as you want or as little as you want. You know, and she'll let you know when you need to be more precise. She'll let you know if that's going to, that'll be fine. You know, because that's the worst part. When you're alone by yourself quilting and you're learning, you're like, does it matter? Like, oh, I just did this. Is it the end of the world? Did I just, like blow it or you know that's 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 what Angela's there for she's there to tell you you know what I mean so just keep that in mind like $25 that's less than fast food and going to the movies and you're gonna get you'll have a blanket when you're all done you know what I mean you're gonna sew the quilt top you know you'll have to get a back for it and whatnot and bind it but you're, you're practically there. So, you know, I guess that's how I feel about it. Um, and anything else? I know that Packer game is coming here pretty soon. Someone's got to be making some Bloody Marys or drinking some beer or hot wings here before too long. So I don't want to hone in on that. Uh, Angela, do you have any evil... Oh, Angela wants to know what you guys want to do for March. Like, um, I had some, uh, well, some St. Patrick stuff. You know, you want to do, like, some paper piecing maybe? Like a little wall or a little. Or, uh, you know, and Easter's coming up. You can do Easter stuff. When is Easter this year? God, maybe I should just, like, look this up before I go live. Do, 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 do. Let's see the check the calendar. Martin Luther King, so not fair. I have to work. Ooh. Let's see, Easter is April 12th, so really it's not that far away. Um, and uh, keep in mind that uh, um, it might be gone from my brain. Oh, I lost it. 
um, oh, graduations and stuff are coming up like way faster than any of us want to admit. So like, are you thinking about taking your seniors uh, t-shirts and making a t-shirt quilt? Angela can show you how to do that. You know, she can show you how to do it. And if you're like, nope, you know, Angela can do it, but she can only do so many things in that time, running her shop, long arming, whatever. So if you're contemplating something like that, you know, with quilting, it's better to be thinking like three months in advance, you know, weddings or whatnot. You know, there's just so many fun little things you can do that are really heartfelt when you make them, you know? Um, oh, Angela said she will have some extra mats with her too to bring to class. So if you're stressed because you don't have a mat, don't sweat it. But it never hurts to talk to her just to make sure we know when you're reserving your spots. Um, Chris wants to learn how to paper piece. Like, do you just want to learn how to paper piece some little fun stuff or do you want to be, end up to be a, you'd like, do you want to learn how to do just a little thing and do something bigger or do you want to use those little things to turn it into a project? Um, Let's see. What else, Angela? Would you like Angela to show you how to like do different uh, blocks and whatnot? She was thinking you guys might get a kick out of that. Um, oh, I know, Chris. It's awful. You know, so there's some stuff that looks like you should be able to figure out, and then you do it, and you watch videos, and you're like, I don't get it. And then, um, come here. And, uh, so I totally get that. 110%. Um, and, uh, but you know what? YouTube is a fantastic place to, like, learn a lot of that stuff. But, you know, as in a class, that's where it will totally make sense. Hi. Yeah, come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, come here. Oh, my dog doesn't want to come. He doesn't want to be a movie star. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I can't really think of much more. Angela said, it looks like Green Bay is going to play Kansas City. Why do you say that? I'm not watching TV, obviously. You know, Tammy, Angela's talked about doing a Quilt of the Month Club. Um, like, how would you want to do that? Like, because there's a lot of stuff that she's talked about, and she's just not sure what people want, because, you know, that's how you do it. You know, like, do you want it to be, like, an email thing? Do you want it to be, like, everyone gets together on Saturday, the first month of the, first Saturday of the month and do it? Or... Because Angela would love to do something like that, but I think sometimes it's it's hard because you want to try to make everyone happy, but right now, like what these lives are all about, and Angela will tell you same thing, it's all about feedback, you know? She just wants to know what you guys want, you know? Isn't that what we all want? You know, um, like, are you looking for a Black of the Month club? Do you want her to, uh, I'm trying to think of, what is this? Who's making these little snowflakes? Um, you know, do you, like, want to have a class on color theory? Do you want to have a class on, um, you know, strip quilting? Do you want to do a, a jelly roll race cl class? You know, if you tell her what you want, She'll do it. She's just wants to know what you guys want to do. And that's one thing I can say for Angela. That's a nice, is that you can pick out your, like literally if you take a class, well at Hobby Lobby, but if you go to her place, you can pick out your stuff and start right away versus being like, woohoo, I'm at the fabric store. Pick out all your stuff and you pick out a pattern. And then you're like, 
um, you're like, yay, and you're feeling momentum and you're excited about it. Put your stuff in the bag, you take it home and you pet the fabric for a couple months, you know, because it's so pretty. And then you forget about it or you're like, oh, I'm terrified to cut it out. You know, at Angela's, you can pick out your pattern, your fabric, and you can get going almost right away. Like most of the time, right away. So if anything, Angela can get you momentum in your quilting stuff, in your you know, like, there's there's no stalling. There's no, like, oh, I don't have time. You know, just make a point of going there and spending, the mo like, a Saturday morning and being like, doot, 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 and you're good to go. You know, and she can help you through it. I can't say enough nice things. I'm not trying to be a, a butt kisser, but I'm not. Um... Oh, that is a good idea, Tammy. Get together one Saturday month or stop in a store and get an X-Block. That's what Angela wants you to do. Just got to tell her. And don't forget her phone number is 715-790-2282. And, uh, you know, Dallas isn't very far. You know, and I think sometimes people get it in their head that it's a far. Really, there's no excuse. Like, you'll go an hour to go to jo uh, Joanne's. Go to Angela's because local business, blah, blah, blah. I can't say enough. But um, other than that, <laughs> Angela, I'm not kidding. Um, you know, and the best part is there's a dachshund there, and you can sit there and, like, put her in your sweatshirt while you're sewing. And, you know, it's just sewing is good for the soul. And it's, it's – sewing is so much more fun when you can learn from other people and – have a good time and see when people struggle on the same things you do. I just, that's the beauty of it. But, um, all right. I can't think of much else, but, uh, yeah. Comment on Angela's page cause she'll see it obviously. And, uh, she's been working on her website, www.angelasquiltingstudio.com. That also has the events on there in case, you know, you want to share it with a friend and they're not on Facebook. Um, I worked on getting her a new uh, YouTube channel. So I, I've been putting every one of these lives on there. And then, uh, well, maybe we can do Black of the Month and do it on a video. And I don't know. Just give us something to marinate on, I guess is what we're asking. Uh, um, but uh, I think now I'm just babbling. I can't think of anything else. But... Um, all right. Well, you guys have a good day. Thanks for listening. And, um, you know, don't feel like any question is not good enough. You know, just ask Angela. She'll, she'll tell you. She can help you. If, you know, if you want to learn a new ruler, you see something on, she's there for you. It's good to go. So have a great night. Go Packers. Um, but, uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a good night. And um, don't forget to call to reserve your spot. And uh, have a lovely night. It's nice talking to you guys. And Angela loves the feedback. So don't think that that um, she doesn't want to hear it. Because, hey, man, how is, how, is your, how is your business supposed to grow unless she's making you guys happy? So, all right. Have a great night. Bye.